Hello class 10th hope you all are good now children today we will continue the same chapter that is your nervous system and we will discuss about the first spinal cord and then autonomic nervous system spinal cord is a long unsegmented cord like structures extending from your medulla okay oblongata of a brain through the nerve canal of the vertebral column to the lumbar region just look at here up to this this it is about uh, 45 cm in length and 35 g in weight it is a spinal cord is also covered by three membrane and these membranes collectively called meninges just like brain and in between these membrane what is present that space is filled with uh what cerebrospinal fluid and uh, it also uh, the it means what uh, this spinal cord is protected by your vertebral column and meninges and cerebrospinal fluid right like brain uh, what uh, spinal cord is also made up of gray matter and white matter uh, naturally it is made up of what neurons and uh, gray matter is your what cell bodies and dendrites but uh, here in spinal cord the position of gray matter and white matter is uh, what reverse or opposite in spinal cord the gray matter is inside that is your cell body and dendrites are inside and axon that is your white matter which constitute white matter is outside right the spinal cord is hollow from inside containing a cavity that is called central canal right next is your functions of spinal cord spinal cord conducts sensory impulses from skin and muscles to brain and it conduct motor responses from brain to muscles of trunk and limbs limbs means your hands and legs right and it also controls uh, what reflexes below neck now next is your peripheral nervous system it is also known as pns all the whitish thread like nerves which connect uh, the various body parts with the central nervous system that is your brain and spinal cord collectively constitute the peripheral nervous system it is divided into two parts somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system right somatic nervous system consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerves cranial nerves are the nerves which arise from the brain are called cranial nerves and there are 12 pair of cranial nerves are there these uh, these cranial nerves may be sensory or they are motor or mixed for example your optic nerve means uh, all the nerves which come from the brain part right which uh, cover your face that is your eyes uh, which are going to your which connect your eye ear your tongue uh, right uh, these are uh, called what cranial nerves and they are 12 in number and they may be sensory motor or what mixed nerves now next is your spinal nerves spinal nerves they arise from the spinal cord and these are 31 pairs in the man these are classified into the following five groups that is um, eight pairs which arise uh, uh, what which connect to your uh, neck that is called cervical spinal nerves next 12 pairs are thoracic spinal nerves which uh, cover your thorax part five pairs are lumbar spinal nerves which cover your abdomen part and five pairs uh, sacral spinal nerves which is uh, what cover your hip region and one pair uh, that is your coccygeal spinal nerves it uh, cover your what tail region and all spinal nerves they are mixed nerves what they are mixed nerves right now next is your autonomic nervous system that part uh, what is uh, autonomic nervous system Act actually it is also known as ans just remember cns is your central nervous system pns is your peripheral nervous system and uh, ans is your what autonomic nervous system that part of the nervous system which control all the involuntary activities involuntary activities means which are, are not under our control they are called involuntary activities actually your somatic nervous system control your what voluntary activities somatic nervous system control your what voluntary activities while 
autonomic nervous system it control your what involuntary activities which are not under our control and voluntary means which are under our control right and it is again divided into two parts sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system uh, sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system both are antagonistic to each other why uh, what do you mean by antagonistic means opposite to each other how because sympathetic nervous system it prepares the body for violent action during emergency it is uh, what stimulated by the hormone adrenaline right and parasympathetic nervous system it helps in re establishing uh, normal for conditions after violent act is over actually autonomic nervous system is strongly influenced by emotions such as sorrow happiness anger fear sexual stimulation etc actually uh, what's happen whenever a body a person's um, body of a person comes under these uh, what emotions then our uh, what sympathetic uh, nervous system it prepare the body for these emotions and that time the changes occur in our body these are controlled by our sympathetic nervous system so uh, what uh, what changes occur during um, what when the bo person's body is under uh, emotions uh, emotions or under any uh, sudden stress then uh, this uh, sympathetic nervous system it uh, prepare prepare body for sudden stress and that time what's happen and suppose when you uh, come under a condition of fear or when he, uh, when um, some em emergency situations comes that time what's happen the pupils of the eye they dilate and heartbeat increases or uh, it may increase what breathing right by dilating bronchi and bronchioles it stimulates what tear secretion increase blood pressure it dilates what nostrils relax urinary bladder and decreases secretion of saliva naturally when you are in a under condition of stress that time what's happen your saliva secretion become very less that is why you don't you uh, don't feel uh, to uh, eat something matlab tumhari bolte na kya hota hai jab jab bhi hum kisi odd situations mein hote hain ya bahut koi fear ki situations mein hote hain to naturally us samay kya hota hai bhook band ho jati hai hai na and that time our uh, or if we are in a condition of uh, fear then that time what's happen Uh, our heartbeat increases and our breathing also increases so these are the changes which occur in our body and they are controlled by sympathetic nervous system right but parasympathetic nervous system what uh, what is the function of parasympathetic nervous system it bring back the body into a normal condition all of you know after sometimes we again come back in normal conditions and who uh, brings back these uh, uh, the body condition to uh, what normal uh, way that is your parasympathetic nervous system so uh, parasympathetic nervous system it constricts the pupils of eye means the pupils of eye it constrict mean means it comes in a normal position heart beat become normal and breathing by uh, what breathing also become normal your tear secretion inhibits tear secretion means suppose uh, what's happen uh, when uh, you are in a uh, stress or in some emotions you start crying right to so that time tear secretion uh, tears uh, they start secreting right but uh, when you come in normal condition then this tear secretions stop the same way blood pressure decreases means it comes in normal position nostrils they constrict right and uh, you know that when you are angry then what's happen your nostrils what dilate na ki jo tumhari phool jati hai na but uh, when you come in in normal uh, condition then it will constrict these nostrils they constrict and they contract the urinary bladder increases saliva secretion means again uh, you start eating right and uh, it increases secretion of digestive glands and increases pastilisis in the gut means 
what is paralysis movement of food into in a elementary into a elementary canal is called what paralysis so naturally what's up uh, you know ki when you are in fear condition or jab bahut zyada स्ट्रेस में हो या इमोशंस में है तो नेचुरली क्या होता है हमारा पलक हम बोलते हैं ना कि खाना भी नीचे गले में नहीं उतर रहा है तो दैट मीन्स बिकॉज इट डिक्रीजेस पैसलिस इन गड गड इज योर एलिमेंट्री कैनाल बट वेन वी कम इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन देन वट्स हैपन अगेन वट्स हैपन इट इंक्रीजेस पैसलिस इन द गड मीन्स नाउ वी कैन इजिली स्वेलो द फूड राइट so we can say that uh, sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system both are antagonistic to each other both are opposite to each other right